What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 29th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called scope. I can't remember if I talked to you guys about scope already but I need to talk to you guys about it again anyways. So anyways I'm going to be talking to you guys about scope, not the mouthwash, a little bit different and also something called the unary scope resolution operator. But I call it the colon colon because you know whenever we're typing it it's just a colon colon so let's go ahead and first let me build another function aside from main um, I'm just going to build another function called Bucky and all this is going to do is well we won't even have it do anything yet so right now we have two functions main and Bucky they're both good to go so sometimes people build variables inside a function like int x and set it equal to 10 well let's go ahead and make some interesting variables I'm tired of x so int tuna and set it equal to 69. Now let's go ahead and build another variable called tuna and set it equal to 20. Well I just want to demonstrate one thing. Some people would declare variables outside functions and some people declare variables inside functions. Now it's not just like some people have blue eyes, some people have brown eyes. They're people nonetheless and it doesn't really matter what eye color they have. Well actually this does matter. It's not a personal preference. It actually does matter in your computer program where you declare or make your variable. Whenever you make your variable outside the functions then every single function can access this tune variable. So this function can use it, Bucky can use it, every function has access to this variable. But for example, say you only made your variable inside one function, so you only made this variable inside main. That means that whenever Bucky tried to use the variable tuna, it's gonna get an error message, so check it out. It says, tuna, what the heck is tuna? Cause main functions are basically greedy. Whenever they create a variable, they're the only ones with access to that variable. So that's why people typically like to use variables and declare them outside all of the functions because whenever you make a variable outside the function, then every single function in your program is going to have access to it. So say for example, main wanted to print out tuna and Bucky wanted to print out tuna. Well, you can go ahead and run this program right now and check it out both programs are going to print out tuna just fine. So the reason Bucky didn't print it out and you only saw tuna once was because we didn't call it anywhere. But anyways, that's what the scope of variables is. Basically, where you create variables depends where you can use them. So if you declare a variable in here, only main can use it. If you make one in here, only Bucky can use it. If you declare outside, both the functions can use it. But now we come across a little bit of a conundrum and let's go ahead and delete Bucky for the rest of this tutorial because he was just an example. A dang fine one but hey he was an example. What if a user did something stupid like this? They made a variable called tuna outside main so of course main has access to it but they made another variable called tuna that's inside main as well. So main can access that one too so now when you try to print out tuna it has a choice. Do I use this one? or do I use this one? Well, let's go ahead and print this out and see what happens. It chose 20. And why did it do that? Well, computers pretty much take the most recent or most inner variable that they can. They say, all right, here is a variable that I can use, but why use that one when I have one right inside my function? I'm going to assume that since this one was built right inside my function, that that's the one you want me to use. So these are called local variables and these are called global variables. And when it has the choice, it's always going to choose that local variable. So you're saying, all right, let's go ahead and say that I'm building a function just like this. And I want to call both of these variables tuna, but I actually want to use this variable tuna out here. Well, how do I tell my program that, all right, I know you have a local variable called tuna, but I want you to use this one. Well, in order to do that, you need to use something called the unary scope resolution operator. In other words, the colon colon. Colon colon tells your program, all right, you have two functions called tuna. One of them's local and one of them is global. Whenever you have this colon colon before tuna, that means use the global tuna. In other words, use the tuna outside your function. So now whenever you run the program, check it out it uses that global tuna instead of the local tuna. And 
the reason people actually do this is because when they have variables with the same name of different data types that's when it comes in handy so for example if you had an int tuna and a double tuna and you ran it it would use the double tuna which is 20 but if you use that colon colon which is called again the unary scope resolution operator if you're taking a test or something then it uses the 69 so I just don't want to show you guys if you're stupid and put in twice people typically write variables with the same name whenever they're using uh, different data types so just wanted to point that out so what to take away from this tutorial whenever you create a variable inside a function you can only use that variable inside the function where you created it. You can't use it inside any other function. Whenever you create a variable outside a function, you can use it in any function in your entire program. So if we had another function called Bucky and another one called Tony and another one called Jessica, we can use this tuna in all of those functions. So that's why you can decide whether it makes this outside or inside your function. And the last thing I want you guys to remember from this tutorial, Whenever you have two variables with the same name, one is local and one is global, and you want to use the global variable in your function, you need to use this dot dot or colon colon unary resolution operator, whatever the heck you want to call it. It's two colons before your variable, and that tells C++, hey C++, I know I have a variable in here, but I want to use this one, the global variable instead. And if you remember these three rules, you'll be good to go. So that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. Again, basically a really easy tutorial. Just a little weird concept that you have to understand. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.